What's good, everybody? It's Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. Back at it with another Jujitsu Kaiser spoils and leaks video. This is for chapter 256. And holy freaking moly, this is the chapter. This is the freaking chapter that we have been waiting for. Or now if you're new to the channel make sure to leave a like subscribe notification bells on so you don't miss when i drop a new video on the road to 5k so let, let's look at this so shout out to the person that did this dope jujitsu kaiser summary like this is fire uh but it starts off with a flashback where gojo's talking about black flash and he's asked why he can't use it Gojo says that it only depends on luck for when someone hits it. Then he mentions that Nanami has a larger record than him, but in total wins, he would be the one winning. Gojo's fights usually don't last that long, so he doesn't get to use Black Flashes. And that's why even Yuji has used more Black Flashes than him in the future. Now... Yuji wonders if Sukuna could use RCT and Choso understands that Miguel and LaRue are there to help so they want to get rid of Sukuna as fast as possible before he uses his RCT. Now this is dope because looking at the panels it's cool seeing as far as these breakdowns like you see this little fist go when uh <laughs> gojo is explaining it now this really dope panel this is the panel that they're talking about as far as choso is just all like yo he's getting his rct you know we need to hurry up and jump him like <laughs> and it's this dope battle of baki miguel Yuji and Choso with Sukuna in the center and it looks super super dope now Yuji starts attacking Sukuna with the help from Choso and Yuji tries to trap Sukuna but Sukuna manages to dodge everything right away while he's falling back Maki goes to try to stab him with her sword but Sukuna is able to hold her sword and hits Maki with another black flash right away which is <laughs> Poor Baki. Like, and it's funny because um, somebody said that it was a guardrail, and I'm just all like, I know they're trying to use everything. And at first, I thought that this might have been some type of piercing blood type of attack, but in this panel, you can see like the the parts of the building or wherever it was pulled from, and I was like, oh, okay, well, Yuji, why would you think that that would be a good thing to use? Like. <laughs> I was, I was like, yo, what did you actually think that that was going to freaking do? But it's dope, you know, because, and I can't, you know, show everything, but even with this part as far as with Baki, poor Baki, man. Like, literally, she's been hit with two black flashes from the key of curses. I, I really don't even know if she's going to be able to get back up because there looks like she's also being slashed and different things like that. And I'm just all like, yo, what in the world is going on, man? Is Baki about to freaking die <laughs> but you know we don't we don't see it because in the next now these are the leaks okay so once we get the officials we'll know in what you know order this is going into because obviously she's not dead because it says that uh maki notices that sakuna is about to use his slashes it says that his output for it has doubled as well the slashes come through towards them but choso can block them sakuna sends another set of slashes right away but he also jumps behind choso and sakuna pushes him to a wall and then hits choso with another black flash i was like yo he's going black flash crazy but luckily choso was able to use a blood armor similar to when Choso and Yuji first fought, I believe, and Yuji was about to hit him with that, you know, Black Flash, but he was able to block it, which I think in the anime, I think they did a better job of depicting that aspect, which so it doesn't pull, it doesn't feel like an ass pull, you know, and so that's good because I was like, yo, it's goodness gracious, man, <laughs> y'all are getting jacked up, so... <laughs> 
Goes back to the fight again. Miguel is able to grab Sakura's arm and land a direct punch on him. And Choso is helping him as well. Yuji appears in the fight and slams down Sakuna. Choso managed to reduce the damage by using his blood technique and using the armor from the upcoming punch. While Choso is holding Sakuna's arm, Yuji lands a direct punch on Sakuna's face, making him fall back. Choso says it doesn't matter how many times Sakuna lands a black flash. What will make a difference is when Yuji starts punching Sakuna until Sakuna gets tired from using all his cursed energy and losing control over Megami's body in the end. Miguel says that him and LaRue should, you know, head out. They've done all they could do. But LaRue says he has one last thing he needs to do. Now it goes back to Yuji fires Sakuna and Sakuna throws Yuji onto the ground. But Yuji hits him with a piercing blood, which is crazy. Sakuna pushes Yuji away from him, but Yuji stands back up. The narrator mentioned how Mojito was able to sense back then in his fight with, with Yuji when Yuji was about to hit a black fast. But Sukuna was focused on something else that he noticed. Now LaRue shows up and he's able to get a hold of Sukuna as he tries to do so. Yuji hits Sukuna with a massive black flash. This was so fire. This scene, it was the whole page. Like... And of course, for the main character, we need this, you know, but the narrator mentions at the end of the chapter that Yuji has awakened now with landing this massive black flash. Now the word awaken, you know, because we've just all been like, yo, when is Yuji going to actually like, you know, and it looks like this is it, man, this, the, the best part is this UG Black Flash on Sakuna. It was so satisfying to see. Now the question's gonna be whether or not this really does some damage to Sakuna. We didn't see Sakuna's face or anything like that. So that's why I'm curious to, to see. So let me know what y'all think about this chapter in the comments below, man. This is a crazy chapter, man. Anyways, uh, we'll we'll have a chapter review so that way we could be able to know exactly what's going on, predict what's next. But anyways, it's Miss Composition MC that writes fiction back at it with another review of these leaks and spoilers. Hit the like, subscribe, notification bell is on so you don't miss when I drop a new video on the road to 5K. All right, y'all. Peace.